I do not regret that I stood up as a physician for the health and safety of the population. I have absolutely no regrets about the work that I have done. What I regret is that I trusted my colleagues. I regret FireNeely.com victory. Neely Kaplan Mirth was sanctioned by her school board colleagues. The hypochondriac TV doctor turned out of control. Ottawa Carleton District School Board trustee was found to have violated the board's code of conduct in a unanimous decision Tuesday night, resulting in a four month decision. It's like a mini firing for Kaplan Mirth. And the report that was written is incredibly biased. It's basically framing me as though I'm some sort of monster who's been going around intimidating everybody, where in fact, I've been minding my own business and doing my work as a trustee. Rebel News has obtained a copy of the Integrity Commissioner's report on Kaplan Mirth's behavior, which mentions Rebel News 66 times in 188 pages. Now, in her scattered and error-prone response to the allegation of misconduct, which was included in the report, Kaplan Mirth admonished the board for meeting its legal requirement to comply with Rebel News access to information filings. She also wrote, bizarrely, that Rebel News CEO and founder Ezra Levand works for True North. The trustee, who first became famous for wearing a mask in a remote TV interview while sitting alone in her office, was banned from board activities until the end of March 2024. After first being elected to the school board, Kaplan Mirth censored parents who attended board meetings concerned about gender theory in Ottawa Carleton District School Board schools. I always have, but this is about having appropriate and safe boundaries for progression and doing things in line with the parental community's wishes. I'm sorry, Mr. Morabito, um, on the grounds that this creates an unsafe environment for people who identify as gender diverse, I'm gonna have to ask you to um, end your and your delegation. How does this uh, provide a, an unsafe environment? Can anyone answer me that? What? Do not See, answer. That's what they do. We're going to take a two minute recess. And she had two petitions calling for her removal on change.org removed from the platform. So. Rebel News responded by delivering a non-cancelable petition signed by thousands of people at firenilly.com calling for Kaplan Mirth's firing. We delivered that petition to Kaplan Mirth in person and it went exactly as you would suspect. Look at this. Ms. Kaplan Mirth? Hi. You are going to read with Rebel News. I just wanted no. to... No, don't run no. away. I'm no, you will back off. You will back off. I'm trying you to back get... off right now. I'm trying you to give back you a petition off. with HLC You will back off. You will back off. You will back off. No, you may not come in. You may not come in. You do not have permission to come in. That door is closed. You may not... <gasps> wow. Yeah. Can we have a security guard here? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, perfect. Thank you. So, Heather. Now, this is Kaplan Mirth's second code of conduct investigation, and it stems from her behavior while under investigation for the first code of conduct violation. This all took place during a September 11th special board meeting. Trustees found her behavior at that board meeting to have undermined public confidence in the board in Tuesday's decision. Now, the initial code of conduct complaint stemmed from the wild-eyed trustee sending text messages attempting to bully her black colleague, Donna Dixon, into supporting a return to a school mask mandate. Kaplan Mirth told Dixon to abstain from the vote rather than vote with, quote, white supremacists. She was attacked in a meeting. A black woman by a white woman. There are other times when... Members Sorry, of this, I'm going to object. I'm a Jewish woman. Board. Everyone. This is not a terrorist assassination. And that was enough. This is inappropriate. You have been out together from day one. You have going Everyone. 
this meeting is going on recess. Now, in Kaplan's defense of the most recent code of conduct investigation, she complained that Rebel News has obtained access to internal Ottawa Carleton District School Board communications about her behavior. And I did. I did it legally. I filed for them. Look at this, though. This is from the commissioner's report. On June 15th, 2023, internal Ottawa Carleton District School Board communications discussed trustee Kaplan Murth's failure to follow the safety plan and her communications with Rebel News and bore a Rebel News watermark, i.e. someone provided them to Rebel News. In the emails, Ottawa Carleton District School Board staff say someone named Darren witnessed Nilly Bate, the Rebel News reporter, that's me, by circling the path near the parking lot and also expresses concerns regarding her safety plan and Kaplan Murth's disregard for our efforts. The emails also include drafts of a proposed email to trustee Kaplan Murth reviewing her safety plan and generally critical of her disregard for that plan. Now, Kaplan Murth wrote that Ottawa Carleton District School Board staff inappropriately made comments about my baiting Rebel News. And then Ottawa Carleton District School Board shared that with Rebel News. Rather than writing to apologize to me, your response is to say that you had no choice. I have attached the letter from my lawyer as further context. Ottawa Carleton District School Board has a duty of care to protect me on Ottawa Carleton District School Board property, including in the parking lot. Protector from what? Reporters? And a statutory obligation to protect my privacy. You made a decision in bad faith to share information with Rebel News. They are a far right white supremacist organization with an agenda to cause harm. Rebel News is Jewish owned. And a female reporter, that's me, filed the access request in question. The board legally released public documents to Rebel News as the board is required to do so by law. Now, the kooky trustee also repeatedly accuses her colleagues of leaking information to Rebel News about her. She says, so someone at Ottawa Carleton District School Board is feeding Rebel News information. Kaplan Mirth erroneously reported to the commissioner that she had been contacted by Ezra Levant of True North. Ezra is the CEO and founder of Rebel News, for those of you who don't know, does not work for True North and has never attempted to contact Nilly Kaplan Mirth. Kaplan Mirth has the next four months to deal with her extreme paranoia and her obsession with Rebel News. And she can come back renewed, ready to listen to all viewpoints, and she might just behave herself like a fully functioning adult in control of her faculties. Will she take this opportunity? For the sake of the parents at the Ottawa Carleton District School Board Schools, Nilly Kaplan Mirth must. I do not regret that I stood up as a physician for the health and safety of the population. I have absolutely no regrets about the work that I have done. What I regret is that I trusted my colleagues. I regret that I stepped forward into this position. I accepted that the public wanted me to do this and I stepped forward to do it, not realizing that I would then be the subject of so much hate, so much vitriol and targeted attack. But I'm not hopeful. For Rebel News, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. You know, I just might need to reignite that firenilly.com petition if she doesn't take these next four months to get herself in order. To throw your name behind the list of thousands of people who find Nilly Kaplan Mirth's behavior reprehensible and out of control, go to firenilly.com.